Hey folks, Dr. Fawaz al -Badani. Today I just wanted to take a moment to share something with you. It's an article that was written uh, by Dr. Dwight Lindell. Now, why should you listen to this article? Why is it important? Well, let me tell you a little bit more about Dr. Dwight Lindell. Now, he was the past chief of staff uh, and chief of surgery at Banner Heart Hospital. Dr. Dwight Lindell has done over 5,000 open heart surgery in the past 25 years. Now, in this research, or in this article, he talked a bit more about what really causes heart diseases and other chronic conditions that we have seen in the country. I'm going to read you a few paragraphs from, these, uh, from, the, from his research and I'm going to include a link to it at the end of this video or in the bottom of this video. Now, here's what he said. We physicians, with all of our training, knowledge, and authority, often acquire a rather large ego that tends to make it difficult to admit we are wrong. So here it is. I freely admit to being wrong. As a heart surgeon with over 25 years experience, having performed over 5,000 open heart surgery, today is my day. Today is my day to right the wrong with medical and scientific fact. Now, he went on to talk about his training, but here is what he says about uh, heart problems. The only accepted therapy was prescribing medications to lower cholesterol and a diet that severely restrict fat intake. The latter, of course, we insisted would lower cholesterol and heart diseases. Deviation from these recommendations were considered hearsay and could quite possibly result in malpractice. Wow, that is, that's crazy. He went to say it's not working. Here's what he says. The recommendations are no longer scientifically or morally defensible. The discovery a few years ago that inflammation, here's the keyword, inflammation, in the artery wall is the real cause of heart diseases and slowly leading to paradigm shift in how heart diseases and other chronic ailment will be treated. And he went on to talk about despite the fact 25% of population takes expensive statin medications and despite the fact we have reduced the fat content of our diet more Americans will die this year of heart diseases than ever before. A statistics from the American Heart Association show that 75 million Americans, 75 million Americans currently suffer from heart diseases, 20 million have diabetes, and 57 million have prediabetes. This, this, these disorders are affecting younger and younger and younger people in greater number every year. Did you know that they changed the name for uh, type 2 diabetes? It used to be called adult onset now because kids started suffering with type 2 diabetes. They had to change the name from adult onset diabetes to type 2 diabetes. Crazy, huh? Simply stated, without inflammation being present in the body, there is no way that cholesterol would accumulate in the wall of the blood vessels that car and cause heart diseases and strokes. Without inflammation, cholesterol would move freely throughout the body as nature intended. It is inflammation that, cause, that causes cholesterol to become trapped. Now, if we chronically expose our body to injury by toxins or food, the human body was never designed to process a condition occur called chronic inflammation. Do you know which food actually inflame in your body? Do you know which food actually inflame in your body? You know, most people actually don't. And I wouldn't be surprised if you actually don't, and that's okay, because I'm gonna be transparent with you right now. 
uh, I've, I've considered myself to be healthy and eating healthy, clean diet. However, when I tested myself to see what food actually in, is inflaming and damaging my body, uh, I was actually surprised to see that I have uh, a reaction to 32 different kinds of food. Now, this reaction is not prominent that it's inflaming my body and I'm reacting to it, but it was that hitting inflammation, the underlying inflammation that is damaging my body from the inside out. Uh, and without cleaning my diet even more and getting rid of these inflammatory agent in my body, I would never be as healthy as I should, uh, or I could have. Uh, so I'm just being transparent with you right now. Let me see if there's anything else I wanted to add about this. Uh, he said this repeated injury creates chronic inflammation leading to heart diseases, stroke, diabetes, and obesity. Take a moment to visualize rubbing a stiff brush uh, repeatedly over a soft skin until it becomes quite red and nearly bleeding. Now you kept this up several times a day, every day for five years, which is what you're doing to your blood vessels and arteries inside your body. If you could tolerate this painful uh, brushing, you would have a bleeding, swollen, infected area that became worse with each repeated injury. This is a good way to visualize the inflammatory process that could be going on in your body right now. That is very gruesome. That is very disgusting. Imagine that going on inside your body. How's your body going to be healthy? No way. Now, chronic inflammation causes 90% of chronic diseases out there. And we don't even know what's inflaming our body. I mean, if the obvious things, processed food, pre-prepared food, sugar, flour, but what else could be inflaming your body without you knowing it? Joint pain, headaches, thyroid issue, digestive problems, arthritis, weight gain, and so forth. All these could be related to inflammation that's happening inside your body right now. Now I'm going to take a moment to invite you to our next inflammation workshop. In this workshop, we'll talk about the top three killers in the United States and how you can avoid them. We'll guide you to know what inflammation really is, what, what it is doing to your body right now at this moment. How can you avoid inflammation and take control of your own health? Now this workshop is going to happen January 3rd at 6.30 p.m. You will be provided a free healthy dinner for you and a guest and a great information that could potentially save your life and somebody else's life as well. You've got nothing to lose. Seriously, you've got nothing to lose and a lot to gain from this workshop. Worst case scenario, you get a free dinner out of it. If you don't like the information, if you don't agree with the information, you get a free dinner out of it. You've got nothing to lose. Take a moment to register. Spaces are limited for the first 50 people. And I'm telling you, this workshop is filling up pretty fast. If we don't get you on this workshop, we'll contact you uh, for the next workshop. We'll put you on the waiting list for the next workshop. So the sooner, the faster you act, the easier it will be for you to get spot on this in this next coming up workshop. All right, again, Dr. Fawaz from The Wellness Way in Pleasanton. Thank you.